Hello everyone, I'm watching this like absolutely just mind blowing video from Atman. He's just absolutely nailing it. And I've seen all this like I show speed copyright claiming through some media and Aiden Ross is backing him up and you know they don't really give a shit. You know, after like basically the whole the whole copyright false copyright scandal. So I thought I would test this theory or would they've changed the mentality because like I'm not blowing up, you know, I ain't gonna you know, be no popular YouTuber. So I just thought, like, I've always hated Aisho Speed. I just think he's a shady character. I think far, far, far too many times people use his age. Like, oh, he's 17 he, or whatever. He doesn't know better. I'm sorry, but, like, when I was 17, yeah, I knew better. You know? Like, it's obvious that some of the things that he does, he does it for the views, like lighting the firework in his house, dumbass move. What an idiot. And like doing this stuff at first he was like I can't talk about that or like he denied it over and over again and then it turns out no he actually is thumb media like he is in control of that and he's doing it on purpose so all the people who uploaded these videos loved his content wanted to share it to bring on new viewers and he's like nah I'm not, I'm not down I'm not feeling it but anyway I'm not going to do the whole video uh, please go do and watch uh, Act Man's because you can see here it's 56 minutes you think I'm going to, going to react to a whole 56 minutes? You remained. Anyway. Compare this to uh, what happened to Totally Not Mark, except, you know, this is on a much smaller scale, where he got hundreds of his anime videos claimed in an instant. Like, what the fuck was he supposed to do? Just stop making the videos people subscribe to him for? It's not the one claim that's always the biggest threat. It's how many claims are going to come after that? What's going to happen to my channel if I keep making this type of content? Should I even bother disputing it? Will I get a strike? Will I get three strikes? Are all my videos and my hard work and my channel going to be deleted? But if you were a greedy scumfuck bastard, you wouldn't think about these sorts of things, would you? You wouldn't You wouldn't care about the well-being of others. I love y'all, bro, and I would never... <laughs> She's showing this clip uh, multiple times. But what I didn't know is that if you receive a copyright claim, uh, a, a person from YouTube doesn't view it. The copyright claim goes back to the original person and they declare whether the video is valid or not. So even if you even if you put in a dispute, it goes straight to, back to the person who disputed it in the first place. It just, just seems incredible. Like, I don't even know how that's the thing. For my life scam, y'all, bro. This motherfucker is guilty. Oh, he's lying. Look at him trying to cover his tracks. Out of all the creators that have made content featuring Speed, none are less deserving of being hit with these false claims than Matt Radian. To me, Matt described himself as one of the most transformative creators that use Speed's content. His videos are highly edited, very entertaining, and he uses clips of Speed to troll in Zoom calls. It's no different than using a soundboard for a prank call or those old ventrilo harassment videos. So you'd have to be a, a real douchebag to go around YouTube copyright claiming prank videos. I show speed is a real douchebag. So Matt woke up one day to find a video had been hit with a claim. It wasn't just a clip from the video. No, they claimed the entire thing, which of course makes no sense because Matt himself is in the video. He submitted a dispute detailing his argument for fair use using the maximum character limit allowed by YouTube. The claim was withdrawn overnight, and Matt went to bed that night, happy that all was settled. But there's he more. He awoke the next morning to find Christmas had come early, and he was apparently on Santa's naughty list. Because there were three new copyright claims filed on his other iShow Speed videos. In this tweet longer, Matt says, It is evident that the people who claimed my video the first time acknowledged my argument and came back to claim the other three videos with just barely, slightly better grounds to actually try to claim content. That's right, Thumb Media came up to Matt, they shot him once, started to leave, then saw he was limping away. They turned around and then <laughs> fired three more shots. What the fuck? One claim was made because of a 12 second clip, another eight seconds, eight seconds of a 16 minute video. All the revenue goes to speed, but it gets worse because Matt Radiant had four of his most popular videos claimed by Thumb Media. Videos that totaled over 6.8 million views. Matt's channel has 32 million total views. What this means is iShowSpeed was using Thumb Media Affiliate to potentially try and steal up to 20% of all the revenue this guy's channel has made. Why are you gonna hand that fees you? 
it's speed though so like he can have the money at least it's not a scam company speed's gonna get my money that's not a big deal it is a big deal because that money isn't his you hear how defeated matt is at this point he just wants his channel to survive well I and i'm just gonna jump in here and say like that's why like there's this just crazy power imbalance between big creators and small cre uh, creators like myself nobody's gonna give a shit if i disappear doesn't matter that i've been on the the platform for 10 years way before i show speed group pubes you know but uh he makes millions for them it's great it's fantastic i mean how time and time again we saw how many times content creation uh people within the industry if they've got the millions of followers or a big TikToker or streamer or whatever they get leniency it doesn't matter what you've done you know it's like oh but he makes cash cash who cares what he's done but how many times is there some uh twitch streamer who's been banned like nine times whereas like if it was myself who was streaming and did the exact same offense i'd i'd be permanently banned like there's no chance my account's coming back but that guy gets a like a three-day ban a weekend off <laughs> to go and use these millions and it's the same thing with this guy i've never liked him i can't stand him i i just i, I just know that i show speeds that he's it's uh, a lot of kids that like like his stuff a lot of his content I just don't think he's a, a good guy, a nice guy. I just think he gets in, and he gets encouraged a lot. Not just because he is young, and I'm not using that as a defense, but he gets so influenced by like Aiden Ross and uh, his own inexperience that he just thinks I can up at the ante. I can up it. I can up it. I can do more growth. And eventually, when he turns eighteen, which he may have done now, he can't keep saying, "Oh, I'm a minor. I'm learning." You're eighteen. You know what I mean? If you do something shady, I'm got like you should be called out on it. And all these people did the crypto scam and stuff, and there was that leak away saying, oh, what, what should I say? What should I say? You know, because they realized that it's all bogus, you know. A lot of people come into an 18 year old to say, We can make you a lot of money beyond what you're already making on YouTube. You down? He's like, Yeah, well, yeah. Not realizing how legitimate it is or not. I'm not going to go to what I'll do is link this video. You know, down in the description, as I say, it's crazy fucking long. So if you want to check it out, but all I'm going to say is I show speeds like sucked ass. He's always sucked ass. It's kind of like the Paul brothers where like I probably had this three year period where I never I didn't know what a Paul brother was. And I, it was a good time. And then same thing with I show speed. Once I learned how I'm like, who the hell is I show speed? Who gives a shit? And I saw the guy. I'm like, I immediately hate you. Like you're so fake personality's turned up to 12 like me just do your shit but kids love it so obvious that he's and the problem is of course kids who grow out of it they'll be like nah nah his content's cringe now kids who move out of the age range there's also kids coming into it and like, his content's so good it's amazing now it's crap it's a lot anyway i was going to say about i show speedy success